Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're talking about tomato diseases and pests um, and some of the issues that we found in our garden, and now we're in the month of July. And one of the first things I want to share with you is actually right near you, and if you take a look over here, these are actually the Better Boy variety tomatoes. And if you take a look on this side over here, it looks like a caterpillar probably got to this one and started um, chewing at it. Um, so we're actually going to end up removing this tomato so that all of the plant's energy and resources go into the other tomatoes and we'll actually just remove this tomato and that's that. The other issues I want to share with you in the garden are actually take a look at these lower leaves and what's going on over here. And what we're going to do is if you take a look here you'll see that it's actually starting to get diseased. It looks like it's got nutrient deficiencies as the leaves are starting to turn yellow and brown. Um, over here, they're actually starting to turn brown and, and they're dying. Um, and if you go even any a little further lower, you'll actually see that these leaves have all been chewed up. And we've actually seen in our videos, which I'll actually give you the links to, when we planted these tomatoes, um, within the first 30 days, there was um, a lot of saw bugs or pill bugs that were actually chewing and getting into these leaves. So there's holes all over the place. But if you look at the overall condition of this plant, I give it an A, if not an A+. Plus. Take a look as you go up. Take a look at all these leaves. Perfect condition, perfect condition. A lot of growth, a lot of vigor, and there's fruits everywhere. About every foot, there's bundles of fruit, and bundles of fruit, and another group of fruit, and another group of fruit. And here we are now, about six and a half, seven feet off the ground, and then we're, we're now beginning to build the roof of our cave. This is now, again, the month of July, and I'm hoping that by um, August, September, this entire roof will actually be loaded with large tomatoes and we'll be picking off um, tomatoes from the ceiling of this what we call the tomato cave which we've been doing um, for the last few years here. The other things I want to share with you is so in regards to these leaves if there's actually um, typically a fungus which is um, some white growth on these leaves which can actually spread quite quickly um, among the plants you're going to want to remove it but there's no need to actually remove these leaves there's no need to spray neem oil on it which is an organic way of treating your plants there's no need for putting spinosad, which is another organic way to treat pests and stuff in your garden. The fact that there's some damage here, we lost one tomato, no big deal. So far, we've actually put no organic products in regards to pest control. So again, no neem oil, no spinosad, or any other similar products. We've only been um, fertilizing these plants on average every 30 to 45 days with different organic um, products to give it a variety and a diversity of nutrients so that these plants can do well. So. We lost one tomato over there. We've taken a look at the leaves, and let me show you a couple other issues here in the garden. When we get to this point over here, these here are my Roma tomatoes, and you can see as they're you know shaped that typical oval-shaped Roma tomato. But take a look at the bottom of this one, and it's the first time it's ever happened in my garden. If you take a look again at the video links that we've done earlier before, we were very cautious in making sure that we added a lot of calcium to the preparation of this garden and we've been adding a lot of organic materials that also include calcium yet end blossom rot which is a calcium deficiency still happened at least for this one tomato plant so what we're going to do here is is we're going to remove that one fruit and here it is again and again it's character characterized by this rotting happening at the base of the tomato this here was the original flower so the blossom and it's called end blossom rot and again that's indicated by a calcium deficiency and the way we're going to correct it is I've got a product here made by Kellogg it says organic plus tomato vegetable and herb fertilizer this is not the only product to be looking for this was one of several that I saw but the reason I picked it was it said calcium and then the percentage of it was 10%. There was other products that I saw that had as little as 5% or 7%, which could work, but this one here had the most. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna come near my plants, and I'm gonna give each one of these plants a handful on each side of its roots. So here's the base of the plant right there. I'm gonna put one scoop there, and one scoop over there. And I'll just take my little hand shovel over here. And I'll just carefully rake it to get it underneath the wood chips. And the goal is you want to get the soil microbes, the nematodes, the earthworms, um, all the biology that's happening in the soil. 
to actually come in contact with that fertilizer. And once we water it, we've activated the soil and the process will begin and those nutrients will be within that plant within the next day or two. The last thing I want to share with you as it relates to these tomatoes is take a look at this. I was in the garden this morning and I noticed that there's some holes here on the tomato. Hopefully you can capture that in the image. You see the holes in there? But I couldn't find when I turned it over, there was nothing on the back side. And then I take a look at the next leaf over here, which has a hole in it. And I'm actually gonna rip the whole thing off so you can bring it close to the camera. Cause this is where we found the guy. So here's another hole in the leaf. And then when we turned it over, look at what we found here. Hopefully you can zoom in and capture this guy. This here is called the tomato hornworm. The infamous tomato hornworm. And it's characterized by this horn that's on the backside of this caterpillar. And it comes from this particular moth called the tomato hornworm, or also sometimes referred to as the tobacco moth. And it basically comes out at night it helps pollinate your tomatoes, it's going to all of your flowers and actually helping with your fruit production. But one of the byproducts is it may be laying some eggs on your tomatoes that then result in these worms. Let me show you a couple more things, come over here. So first, take a look at this. I've got a couple of onion plants which are excellent companion plants to have um, in your um, tomato garden. So we've got a couple of onions and as the season progresses, we'll actually be using this for a tomato salad or something. But notice something else I just um, pointed. And this is what I'm looking for actually when trying to spot these caterpillars. First you'll notice those droppings, little black droppings. They can sometimes be green if it happened more recently, but hopefully you can zoom in and see those little black um, droppings. And this is pretty small. It gets larger as the caterpillar gets bigger. There's some more droppings up there. And then here's the damage to the leaf. You can actually see all the holes on that leaf. And what we're gonna do is just flip that leaf over. And sure enough, there's another caterpillar. So another tomato hornworm caterpillar. So let's just pick that off. And we'll set that down over on the paper so you can see it even better. So take a look, let's zoom in on that caterpillar. And then just to explain again, the tomato hornworm moth comes out typically in the evenings. It's fertilizing your tomatoes which is wonderful as it's pollinating them and actually helping increase your maximum yields of tomatoes. But again, it's also laying its eggs. So the question is, and what most gardeners would do is, you know, it's time to spray your plants. Let's go and put some more products to kill those caterpillars. But what you're doing is you're actually killing the entire biology in your garden. What you want to do, and as much as you can do, is try to control this naturally. If you see these guys, pick them up, I'll just put them here in a cup. I'll have my children play with them or I'll relocate them to another part of my garden away from my tomatoes um, so that they can't make their way back over here or whatever humane ways you can come up with. Feed them to the birds or whatever you wanna do. But you just keep them away from your plants so it doesn't damage too many of the leaves. Um, and as long as you can control it this way, it's that much better for you and your family or whoever's gonna end up ultimately consuming these tomatoes. So um, I would recommend not using neem oil, not using spinosad, and not using any other um, organic biological controls as it kills more than just the caterpillars. It changes the biology of, of your garden. So um, hold off on doing anything until more extreme things are happening within your garden that require um, the assistance of spinosad and neem oil. And I'll be doing videos to actually show when, and there are times when it does become required. Um, and I'll do a citrus video on that because there is something that actually plagues citrus trees specifically and it actually requires more care and more um, attention to protect and care for those plants, especially when young. But I'll do another video on that. Anyways, uh, so one other thing, while we're um, this close to my Oro Blanco grapefruit tree, I just want to share how I've actually painted this tree trunk white. And we actually put a product, um, and this is the product that I was talking about, Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and it's an all-natural tree trunk barrier. Um, branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn insects and rodents um, and I'll show here it says use on roses and fruit and nut trees and ornamental trees and shrubs and it's non toxic environmentally safe and organic and yeah and this is the color white and it actually comes in three colors white brown and green depending on what you um, prefer and again it has the natural oils in it to help 
repel insects from getting into the plant. It has oils to repel rodents from chewing on and gnawing on your plant, which is usually an issue in the winter. And then it's got this protection coat to actually keep your plants protected from sunburn in the summer, sun scald in the winter. So um, a product to consider, you know, when protecting your prized trees. And let me actually show you one last thing. Come here. So we just discussed um, at the beginning of the video, we had a tomato that was actually damaged by a caterpillar and we removed it. So the rest of the plant's energy and resources go into the rest of the tomato plants. We saw another tomato that's actually um, affected by um, blossom end rot. And that's where the bottom of your tomatoes will rot. And we know how to correct that now by adding um, organic fertilizers that are rich in calcium. And we used a product that had 10% calcium. And the other thing we discussed was um, plant diseases. And as these leaves get older, which are the lower leaves on your tomato, we're gonna spot more and more diseases um, chlorosis, which is where, you know, there's deficiencies happening in the leaves, but this is typical. As long as the plant is still, you know, more healthy than not, just keep on going. Take a look at your fruit production. Look at how well this plant is growing. It's growing, it's fruiting, it's flowering, it's doing all the things you'd want it to do. So do not do anything chemical. Do not, you know, stress. These plants will ultimately die as we get closer to the end of the year. Um, we're now in the month of July. So, so we're already past the first day of summer. So every day is actually getting shorter and shorter as we approach fall and ultimately winter. So these plants and the condition that these plants are in is only going to get worse as these plants go in, into hibernation mode. So um, so we're going to watch the you know the evolution of these plants over the next few months. I do expect fungus to plague these plants and I'm going to share those diseases with you. And we saw the tomato hornworms which is a pest here in the garden and we're still doing nothing about it. If you see them just remove them and get them away from your tomato plants and allow your plants to continue to thrive and do well without any use of chemicals or um, whether they're organic or not so that you don't change the biology of all the good things that are happening here in your garden. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if so, be sure to like it and most importantly, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on all the rest of our Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard gardening tip videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.